Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Luke Vaughn. I am back with another vlog. It is Tuesday morning. It's 7.19. We're going to go for a run. We're going to go read some books. And uh, yeah, let's get on with this vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to do today. So um, let's try to figure that out. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, this video is insane right now. Hold on, I gotta show you guys. Look at this. Alright, hold on. Look at this, look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that was a horse killing a sheep. What the f I've never seen I've never seen anything like that. I saw that on a podcast this morning, so I, I had to show you guys. That is absurd. I've never seen I've never seen a horse do that to anything. So that's just that's wild. All right. So obviously from the title of this video, I will be showing you guys my entire you know snowboarding gear, all the stuff that I use for snowboarding, all my equipment that I use this year and I will be using next year. Just want to say I'm a beginner snowboarder. I really started snowboarding basically last year, a year and a half ago. I got a few hours last year. Now this year I went the most I've ever went. With the coronavirus, I couldn't even go at the end of the year, which is really sad. I was really trying to go all during March, but you know, they closed early. So um, I guess I'll just pick up my snowboarding again next year. It is what it is. I guess everybody had to deal with the same problems. So but let's get right on with this video. I want to show you guys what I ride with, what I use. As you can see right off the bat, shout out to them little wall racks because I got them on Amazon. They actually are clutch. Your boy actually rides the 2020 Scotty Lego double barrel okay shout out to that boy Casey Wheelax he is probably the best snowboarding vlogger on YouTube I actually found out about this snowboard from him obviously of course I did yeah I was looking for a new snowboard at the time last year and uh, I, I was looking into some brands that probably I shouldn't have been looking into and uh, I kind of found out about this brand I kind of looked into the brand and the pricing was actually really good especially for the quality I really wanted to come over and start riding a camber snowboard instead of a rocker that I used to have and you know, just kind of pick up my snowboarding skill a little bit. And I felt like this was the snowboard that could really take me to the next level. But after one year of riding it, I can tell you that it's really nice and it is gonna take me probably to the next level. And I know it's a high quality snowboard and if it breaks, they will send me a new one. So that's pretty fire. I don't really gotta worry about any breaking. Shout out to Scotty Lego. Your boy has the K2 bindings, okay? I got these bindings for like, I think I got these on sale. I, I think these are a little over a hundred dollars. It says K2 Sonic, so I guess they're the K2 Sonic. I bought this for my other snowboard last season and uh, I finally just switched it over to this board. Luckily, my boy started snowboarding and I could sell him my old board. So uh, shout out to him, he really helped me out. And he basically helped me purchase this board. I am from Jersey, so we do have the first indoor snowboarding park, snowboard, I don't even know, snow hill, snow mountain. I don't even know what to call it, but there's an indoor snowboarding like place in New Jersey that just opened up. So hopefully I can go there this summer. I mean, hopefully they're gonna open up after this coronavirus and I can get some hours in on my snowboard in the summertime. That'd be really cool and that would just be really fun. So hopefully they can open up and uh, I can get that done. Quickly moving to the gloves. Your boy did wear some gloves, but now we are on the mitten gang, okay? Team mittens, get out of here with the gloves. Snowboarders don't ride with gloves, bro. We got the freaking mittens, but I ride the Dakine mittens. Dakine, I don't even know if I pronounce these. Dakine, Dakine, I don't want to look like an idiot. Very simply, we got some cheap DC boots, nothing crazy, something simple. I actually had another pair of boots that I had to quickly buy these in the middle of the season because after I kind of broke in those boots that I got as a kid, let me just remind you, I got them as a kid. Um, they, they started not to fit me. Obviously, I didn't know when I was a kid and my aunt bought them for me that I uh, should have bought a size down. So I had to sell them, which finally I sold those boots and I got these boots, which are uh, finally fits me and it fits me a lot nicer. Not the most expensive boot, but definitely gets the job done. A little soft, not going to lie, a little soft, but it's a good beginner boot. I could say it's a pretty good beginner boot. Now, I can't lie to you. I did go hard and I bought some pretty expensive Burton pants. These, uh, these pants I think ran me over $200. 
Oh yeah, we got the bottom. This bottom is very nice. The material is very uh, heavy duty, I guess you could say. Got a lot of pockets. Zipper pockets in here, wool pockets. Moving right along, we're going to my jacket. This is a simple little Neff shell jacket. Just a little outer shell. Just a little outer shell. I found a blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I actually snagged this at Marshall's or Ross. I think I got this at Ross for like 35 bucks. I wasn't even looking for it. I found it. And I was like, damn, this is actually going to go really fire with my cargoes. And uh, I would say it goes pretty fire with my cargoes. And... Rocking the white boots? Come on now. So I was like, you know what? Let me just snag this for the 35. I would say it's pretty good. I It is not the warmest. Obviously, it is just a shell. So you do need to wear a bit of layers underneath it. But it is nice for 35 bucks. It uh, does the job for sure. To wrap this video up, we are going to talk about my goggles and my helmet. You know, we got to rock the helmet. We got to keep the head safe. We got to keep the brain safe. If you guys are beginner snowboarders and you're not riding a helmet... Dude, shame on you. Shame on you. You don't need to take that risk. But, you know, simple little snowboard helmet. Does the job, you know, protects the dome piece. I actually do. Got some Oakley goggles. Not not a crazy pair. I think these ran me like a hundred bucks. Um, I really like these goggles. They don't fog up. Goggles are honestly kind of hard to wear at nighttime. I'm not going to lie. In New Jersey, you know, we ride at nighttime in Pennsylvania and stuff like that. Dude, I'm telling you, night riding is low-key hard with goggles. But these are nice goggles, nice simple goggles. Um, nothing really I need to super upgrade, I would say. I don't know about you guys. I don't really need to upgrade anything. Just got to get better, get some more hours on the snowboard. And hopefully can just pick up my skill and just have some more fun with it. It's really fun. I had some good experiences this winter. I went to the park a few times and I, I rode on a few boxes no rails a few jumps a few jumps throughout the season that which was pretty fun a few boxes which uh got my confidence up so hopefully we can pick up the park riding and pick up the snowboarding and it would be lit in the middle of the summer if i just drop a random snowboard vlog but we'll see like i said guys we're locked in the crib i i, I just wanted to drop a video you know just diversify my accounts you know just keep pumping out that content you know i dropped a video today if you want to go check that out i got a podcast if you want to go check that out but uh stay tuned for more content stay tuned for more videos i hope you guys are staying safe staying healthy and uh take it easy guys